Meghan Markle stuns in a $450 Hugo Boss high neck dress, $900 peach suede pumps and a $300 saddle bag that has already sold out, as she bids farewell to Australia. The Duchess of Sussex has stunned crowds in another fashion hit, bidding farewell to Australia in a show-stopping burgundy ensemble. Boarding the New Zealand-bound plane from Sydney on Sunday, Meghan Markle stunned in a high-neck Hugo Boss dress, which retails for 450 Australian dollars, 249 pounds. The mother-to-be, 37, chose to pair the ankle-skimming number with Aquazura peach suede pumps that would have set her back 911 Australian dollars, 505 pounds. Completing the outfit was a mini-chain saddlebag from the brand Q Iana, retailing for around 317 Australian dollars, 175 pounds, and Australian brand Pass Paley Lavalier earrings worth 14,440 Australian dollars. 7,986 pounds. However, fans hoping to emulate the look had better be quick as the court saddlebag has already sold out and the Hugo Boss jersey dress only available on the brand's website. Although still out of reach to most royal watchers, the high neck number is relatively cheap compared to other looks sported throughout the 16 day tour. In total, the Duchess wardrobe is expected to cost upwards of $100,000 from outfits worn throughout her scheduled 76 engagements. So far, these have stretched across Australia, Fiji and Tonga with Meghan and spending 10 days in Australia and a further four across the Pacific region. They wound up their official events in Australia at the Sydney closing ceremony of the Invictus Games for a war wound that Prince Harry founded. The royal couple joined the 12,000-strong crowd on Saturday night in clapping and cheering throughout the two-hour-long ceremony that included performances by Perth rock outfit Birds of Tokyo and the gospel singers from the U.S.-based Kingdom Choir who performed at Meghan and Harry's wedding in May. The closing ceremony was the final event on the royal couple's official itinerary for their Australia visit which included stops in Sydney, Dubbo, Melbourne, and Fraser Island. The Duke and Duchess were farewelled by officials on Sunday morning who thanked the couple for their time in Australia. But it was a windy goodbye with Meghan wearing a silk and burgundy dress and peach suede heels and Harry a dark grey suit. Harry and Meghan, who announced their pregnancy on their first night in Australia a fortnight ago, took a Royal New Zealand Air Force plane for the flight bound for Wellington, the country's capital city. Several members of the New Zealand Invictus Games team were on board the flight which will be met on arrival by Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern later on Sunday. During their four days in Aotearoa, the Duke and Duchess will visit a Kiwi bird breeding centre, see some of the country's most majestic environs in the South Island's Abel Tasman National Park, and even join in a gumboot throwing contest.